Hi boys and girls and welcome back to my living room classroom. I am playing with some colors so that maybe you can see um, the lesson a little bit better. So the last couple days you have been reading articles and watching videos in relation to topics, either water bottles or zoos. You have set aside your own opinions and suspended your judgment, which means you have thought it could go either way. Uh, you have gathered evidence from both sides, reading lots of different articles or watching lots of different videos. And now today we're going to talk about raising new questions while you're reading. Oh, I know this is hard to see. I can't change the color of these backgrounds or I haven't figured it out yet. But these are some questions that you can ask when reading your nonfiction text. Could this explain something? Why this and not that? So what? And what are the surprising things about this? Wow, whoa, huh, that's a little confusing. How does this connect to what I already know? So today, when you're reading, what I want you to do is start asking yourself questions. I'm gonna show you with that chocolate milk article that we read the other day, a school fight over chocolate milk. So it's the same article, I'm gonna read it again, but this time I'm gonna write questions down on the side. Milk, that icon of purity, has been taking some hits lately. By the time they are 11, children drink more soda than milk. So there for me is a so what? So I'm going to highlight that. Makes me wonder, so what? Kids drink more soda than milk. Why does that matter? I'm going to keep reading. The amount of milk consumed in America overall has fallen to about 20 gallons a year per capita from 25 gallons in the early 1990s. That makes me think, I wonder why kids are drinking less milk. So I'm gonna write, why are kids drinking less milk? Have their flavors, I mean, have their tastes changed? Have more drinks come out? Have parents' values changed? It's even on shaky ground in the one place it has long seemed at home, the school lunchroom. To appease parents whose children can't or won't drink milk, a quarter of the nation's largest school districts now offer rice or soy milk, and almost 17% of all school districts offer lactose-free milk. Hmm, so we have rice and soy milk, we also have lactose-free milk. That makes me wonder, are people not drinking as much milk because there are more allergies than there used to be? So do you see how while I'm reading, I'm stopping, I'm thinking, I'm asking questions, I'm taking notes to kind of get my brain going. I'm going to keep reading. Most recently, chocolate milk has emerged as both villain and victim in a cafeteria drama that pits the milk industry, administrators, and parents against one another. For those who haven't been in a school cafeteria lately, 71% of the milk served nationwide is flavored. In New York City, school food officials say fat-free chocolate milk fills nearly 60% of the 100 million cartons served each year. The rest is 1%. So I'm going to go back to my questions. Why this and not that? That's a good one that we could add here. So remember it said that fat-free chocolate milk fills nearly 60% of the 100 million cartons. I'm going to say why chocolate and not plain? almost a question I can probably answer myself, but I still want to write it down. I'm thinking it's probably chocolate milk because it tastes better. I know with my own kids, they want chocolate milk every day compared to plain milk. Even me, I would pick a chocolate milkshake over just a glass of milk or even a Yoohoo over a glass of milk. But chocolate milk can contain about twice as much sugar as plain low-fat milk. Milk is naturally sweet from lactose. Flavored milk also contains cane sugar or high fructose corn syrup, making it unwelcome in, cafe in some cafeterias. So I'm going to go back. So could this explain? Hmm. 
So chocolate milk, they're saying, is having an unwelcome in some cafeterias. Could this explain? It could explain the dip in drinking milk for kids. Remember up top on the article, it said that there, the amount of milk consumed has fallen recently since the 1990s. It could be because some schools are not allowing chocolate milk anymore. So what you're gonna to do today, sorry, I know you can't forget that you can't see this very well. What you're gonna to do today is you're gonna read your article, a new one, and you're gonna ask yourself questions. I expect probably around three or four questions in full sentences. So when you're done watching this video, you're gonna go back to the Google Slides.